they, they have been a good friend to us, but that does not mean at the same time that we, we condone uh, bad practices in terms of their democracy. So uh, that, that is our position, and as I said, it is the position of most of um, CARICOM save um, the Bahamas and the Haiti. Our position is not that there aren't uh, things desirable in terms of the state of affairs in Venezuela and, uh, and certainly things under the Maduro regime. Uh, we've never said that uh, we condone and that we are, we are agreeable to everything that is happening there. What we're saying is that, as, as you've pointed out, that dialogue needs to happen, that this matter needs to be resolved, and that the way to solve it is not to just go in and impose. Uh, there, there are ways of uh, dealing with this um, and solving it in a way that uh, we don't big stick the process, so to speak, and that is what we're all about. So it's not that we... We're saying we're in the corner necessarily rooting and uh, approving all uh, that is happening in Venezuela. We're just saying uh, this matter needs to be resolved via dialogue. The comments made by Ambassador Gutierrez is, has the full support of the government of Belize and the Prime Minister. Oh yes, they, there, is no, there is no doubt that um, when our ambassador speaks, that he speaks uh, with, of course, um, with that authority from the government, they, uh, an ambassador cannot get out there and speak on his own and um, uh, Dan Gutierrez is one of our best, so I'm sure that when he spoke, especially in that kind of forum that he spoke on behalf of our, of our government and especially of the foreign ministry.